Hey guys, um, I'm just putting together this short video here uh, just to help you explain. So this is a like a, an ROI calculator that we use. Uh, this this specific document is um, designed for uh, solar, some of our solar clients, and the the average ticket item that we have in here would be 15 grand. So that, that's on average, right? Sometimes you might get a cheaper 10 kilowatt or 6.6 .6 that comes under that. Sometimes you'll get a complete energy package that comes in 30, 40, 50K sort of thing, right? So the average ticket item. And we use this spreadsheet to help our clients understand that we can pretty much hit whatever they need in terms of a target based on what they're willing to spend to get it. Because typically what happens is the conversation when companies come out of word of mouth or referrals or um, like insurance kind of work or whatever it might be, I've never really had to consider marketing budget as a, as a, because it's, it's always just been a case of leads come in, we speak to them, we get the job. But it's very different when you're talking cold traffic. So this model um, is very useful for you guys to be able to forecast your growth and it's what we use with our clients. And I'll show you how it looks. So <clears throat> when people, so th the reason we put this together is because sometimes at a glance, things might look quite expensive, but when you break down the dynamic it's actually not that expensive, just a mathematical equation in order to heat your targets. And really commonly the conversations that we have are people, businesses that are, you know, maybe doing five, three, five, whatever million in, tu in turnover and they've somehow got there without a cold traffic source and in order to get to the next stage, um, they don't understand that part of that growth pattern and part of that turnover needs to have a dedicated marketing budget allocation which comes as an operational expense. It's part of your operational expenses. So it's just a normal equation. And any, any business that is, is on a growth pattern will be investing into that in order to hit that number. So let me run you through just real quickly how this looks. So if you were spending, say, um, 1800 bucks a month on, on ads, which truthfully in a solar space is, is really not a lot of money, um, unless you've got like a really cheap cost per lead, um, so you can expect to be getting 72 leads in and with an average 10% close rate. So what we'll typically see in the solar space is, and again, this is sort of aggregate data from, you know, dozens and dozens of different campaigns we run all over, all over the country. So 10, roughly 10 leads that come in through cold traffic will result in one closed job. And if your numbers are better than that, then that's great. And you can, you can improve on this. But essentially, essentially the, that, that average deal size is at 15 grand there is 108 grand, give or take. Um, and if you've got a gross profit margin of 27K, so you can expect to be spending say 1800 bucks here on ads in order to get, um, in order to close $108,000 worth of work if that makes sense. And then when you, add, when you add into the equation, like you take out our campaign management fees and that kind of stuff, uh, you, so you add that into the ad spend as well, like your return on that investment is 12X. So it's pretty significant. But I mean, that's obviously best case scenario here for a lead that comes in that cheap. That's not normal for solar, by the way. Normal uh, cost, well, it depends where you are as well, like in um, more densely populated areas. Like our goal is always to get leads under under 80 bucks 100 bucks 80 bucks if we can now when we have some clients that are absolutely getting these but again it just becomes with that's a conversation of optimization right so even even here even at like 75 bucks a lead if you're spending 1800 bucks to get um 36 grand worth of work that's that's how the numbers work out right with us with a significant with a, with a really healthy return so the, you can scale this budget and you'll notice this as these numbers get high, you can scale this budget, but it's provided on one thing, which I'll circle back to in a second. You can scale that your budget in order to hit your targets. So if you want to be doing, you know, um, say your cost per leads $75 and you want to be hitting 200K months, then you need to be spending about 11 grand on ads in order to hit that based on the numbers. Now, the thing I wanted to circle back to is the closing rate. And this is why the sales process is so important and why we have a really 
really well defined and adamant approach to sales, making sure that we're closing on the, our numbers accordingly, because we need to be hitting these numbers in order to scale it, right? These are, and again, these are relatively conservative, relatively conservative, but the point is the numbers, the numbers that make a big difference because if you're not closing, it's not about how many leads you get, it's how many jobs you close, right? So, and you can use this model to really scale your business. So if I go, I want to be doing 300, you know, K months and I need to be spending the money to get it and you do. And I would probably argue even that that's at that point might even be a little bit conservative. If you would, if you had a budget, roughly on what you should be spending as a business growth pattern to hit target i always advise clients to be budgeting on eight to ten percent in order to on, if they're in a growth phase if you want to stay where you're at say five percent will sort of keep you keep you pretty steady but eight to ten will help you grow so that's kind of a decent ballpark. And the, as you say, these numbers don't, don't, don't quite require that much, but it's, it's good to, you better to have more in the backlog than less, right? So here, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, of course, the goal from like an account management perspective in media buying and things like that is to always lower the cost per lead because obviously the cheaper the lead cost, the more of them you get. But then you also have to throw into the equation sometimes a lower lead cost doesn't equate to quality and some, it's better to be paying a little bit more for better quality because the conversion off the back end is going to be higher, if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, just thought I'd record that to iron out a few questions that we commonly get asked. Cheers.